So it's now Sunday morning. It's about 10 30, maybe 10 40. I think I'm about 10 minutes late. And I am the way to the gym. The report. Told Ollie I would meet him there. He runs a White Lights Barbell Club. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna run through some bar lift techniques, some bar lift exercises, and uh, just change up my training in general. I used to do it and I liked it, so just going back to adding, adding some Olympic lifts and stuff like that, so a lot of compound stuff. Alright guys, so I'm going to run you through this morning's workout as a voiceover, simply because I'm not overly comfortable enough in my gym to talk in front of a camera. Uh, but this is the first time I've ever had a camera in the gym with me, so it is a step in the right direction. So just bear with me. Right here you're seeing Ali Kjarbel, who has won at the British Championship twice, and he set two British deadlift records and one total record at 93 kilos, so he knows his stuff. Basically, what he picked out on me for squat anyway is that I do everything in a low bar position, except for where I hold the bar. I actually hold the bar in a high bar position. So all morning I just done bar work, practicing holding the bar in a low bar position. Uh, pretty boring stuff basically, but that's why I didn't show you too much of it. Didn't go for any weight, but right here you see Ran. Ran is about to attempt a 140 squat, which is his personal best. So if you watch, he de racks the bar, takes a step back, gets himself psyched up in position, and drops the hips. Look at that, just knocked it out of the park. Well done on that, buddy. From there, we move on to bench. Uh, bench is something I'm probably a little bit more naturally strong at. But my technique is still not right for power lifting. Uh, I do basically do a lot of lifting and bad, probably bodybuilding technique, which is bad because the you know, mobility is bad and stuff like that. So it is good to change things up every now and again. As you can see right here, Ollie's actually kicking my feet in the position. So I have a better base. He's also checking under my lower back to see that I have an arch there as well. So from here, I'm contracting my shoulder blades and pushing my heels into the ground. And I'm also contracting my glutes while keeping the arch in my back. Everything's locked solid. I can go for a couple of reps and everything is comfortable and I push him from the right position. From there, Ali was happy enough to up the weight, so he threw 100 kg under the bar. And same again, glutes, glutes contracted, back contracted, and I'm wrapping out. But you can see my legs are a little bit shaky, so I do have a bad base. I actually decided to re rack that then because I felt the whole way during it that I didn't have a good base. Talked to Ali, changed up a couple of things, sat back down, and went for it again. As you look, off the bar, back contracted, glutes squeezed and feet pushed into the ground and you can see that I'm a lot more comfortable. All these all these clips by the way guys are sped up by 30% simply because it will be too long to watch the footage in real time and I'll be a bit boring. From there we moved on to deadlift and it is something that I would kind of also be a little bit naturally strong on. Like if I don't deadlift for a while, I can still go back and deadlift a decent weight. Uh, Ollie's teaching technique here and showing me exactly what I'm doing wrong. Uh, by the way guys, I've been weightlifting from I was 16, I'm now 24, so like I have 8 years experience and I'm still standing here on a Sunday morning taking training tips and advice and form advice from a guy. So basically the take home message of this is, never think you know everything, you always have something to learn. You know, every time, every chance I get I'm learning something new and I'm improving and I'm becoming a better version of myself. So, Ollie's tweaking me, getting me in the right position. Uh, I'm activating my glutes and putting strain on the bar. So, if that bar didn't have any weight on it, I would actually already be picking the bar up because I'm putting pressure through it. Glutes activated, I then wrap out. As you can see, the bar might look fine, but Ollie comes back and he's showing me what I'm doing wrong. You know, this guy does know his stuff, so you can see that he is very, very good at what he does. He explained to me though that I'm actually leaning back and I'm pulling back where I should be pushing straight up. My feet should be in a position that I feel comfortable leaping up in the air with full power. So after explaining this to me, I go back, get my stance, line myself up, put strain on the bar, activate my hamstrings, and pull up, and it does feel a lot more comfortable and I feel a lot more powerful that way. And that concludes this morning's workout. I hope you guys got something from it and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So you just seen the gym footage. It is now 10 past one. I'm in a rush because I'm supposed to meet my mum and dad for dinner at one. Yeah, I'm late. But basically this morning I had a skim milk shake with protein powder. 
Then after training there I had another skimmed milk shake with protein powder and creatine. The reason I haven't really ate today is because I said I am over dinner and I'm saving my calories so I can have this dessert. Yes! Looking forward to that. I'm actually wearing real world clothes for once. So yeah, gonna run. Catch up with you guys after. Alright guys, so just back from dinner. It was awesome. I'm so full though. I had like a white chocolate and strawberry tart for dessert with ice cream. It was unreal. So good. But it was just eaten out of greed. But it is a Sunday and I did enjoy it. What's up? Food baby has finally died down. Uh, here's a little update of where I am today. I'm sitting at the kitchen table and I'm editing. I'm actually editing this vlog. So I've got up and I've got up till this point in the day. So this clip you're watching will be going in right here. <laughs> This workout footage that you've already just watched though, I'm going up to the warehouse right now to edit, not edit, sorry, to record the voiceover for it because I need peace and quiet. And my dad's watching Axeman or some shit in the other room. And every now and again, all you can hear is explosions and stuff in the background. So yeah, don't really want that in the voiceover. Yeah. Can you hear that? So, go over the words, get some peace and quiet. Peace and quiet up here. I can get this voiceover done, no aliens or explosions in the background yeah my own little space to work get shit done and then i'll go food with dad i think yeah getting quite hungry so i'm gonna go get something to eat with dad just a takeaway or something it's sunday night from here i contract my shoulder blades i'm pushing my heels into the ground and i'm also contracting my glutes while keeping the arch of my back so operation peace and quiet voiceover done yeah, that's going to include the video. I'm going to bring the laptop home and I'm going to add it in the comfort of my bed tonight. Yep. So, just going to leave the video there. But something I want to talk about before I go is the first ever May Way episode that was released two days ago. You guys seen it? You seen the story? How amazing was it? Honestly, like, sure, Pablo, they absolutely killed it. The story was so good. But one thing I do want to talk about is what you don't see and that is behind the scenes you know that that was nine months in the making we had that on the whiteboard nine months ago and we physically couldn't but we couldn't do it we didn't have the skills to do it we also didn't even have the money to buy the equipment to do it you know so it took us nine months to get an idea of it and it's just so good to see it finally released and like people's feedback and yeah it's crazy like but like we actually went down about four months ago to film it in dublin and no, couldn't do it. We got home, reviewed all the footage, wasn't at the standard I wanted, so we had to cut it. So we finally made the investment in the new camera, which is a Sony SMS Mark II, which, you're, which I'm using now. Uh, 50mm lens, a Tascam recorder, a lapel mic for it, and a stabilizer. We actually also bought a, bought a drone, but racked it, so we didn't get any drone footage. <laughs> yeah. Kind of waiting to hear back whether we want to get a replacement or whether we need to pay a repair bill on that one. Shit happens. I just want to give a big shout out to Ran. Ran deserves all the credit for that video. You know, you guys are seeing Sharon and Pop with the star of the show. You're seeing me being featured on it. You're seeing me on my. You're seeing me on my channel. But Ran is the creative behind Fitting Fitness. He did, he does all the photography and all the videography. So Ran produced that entire video, basically. Yeah, Ran produced the entire video, and it's mad to think that I grew up with Ran. You know, we're, we're childhood friends. Most people have to go searching the world and search and search in the industry to find people that can produce stuff at standards like that. And I grew up with him, and he didn't actually know how to do that this time last year. Through passion and hard work and drive, he's taught himself how to do all of that. Like, people go to school and uni to learn how to learn that. No, Ryan just stuck at it and taught himself. And you've seen the standard it was released at. 
unbelievable. So Ryan, thank you, bro. You deserve every bit of credit for that video, and I cannot wait to see the next one. Oops. So yeah, I'm gonna conclude this video there. Basically, that's just what I wanted to get off my chest. I wanted to let you guys know that even though Cher was the star of that show and so was Pablo, there's someone that has to get credit for that, and that is the guy that put in all the hard work to make that video. And that's Ryan. So yeah, if you haven't already watched the video, the link's in the description box below. Go check it out. Watch it. It's 17 minutes. Go put the go put the kettle on. Get yourself a cup of tea. Kick your feet up. Fluffy slippers on, and give it a watch. Sit back and enjoy. It's an emotional roller coaster. It's so gripping and so inspiring. So yeah, guys, go watch it. Check it out. And let me know in the comments below what you think.